So today we're talking about some different activities that you can do in the pool. I used to be a water aerobics or aqua fit instructor back in the day, and it is still one of my favorite activities. And I love to recommend it to my patients, particularly when they're actually comfortable going in the pool. But this is a low impact activity that gives you a wonderful workout. You get a good cardiovascular workout and there is tons of resistance here in this water. It's Dr. Victoria and George. I wanted to share some of my favorite equipment with you for doing some water aerobics and also some of the basic exercises so that you can feel comfortable going in the pool and doing some activities if you want to. I know not everyone is comfortable even going in the pool, but if you are, this video is for you. All right, when it comes to some basic exercises, you have a regular cross country. So when you're in the water, you go back and forth almost like you're cross country swimming. You've got your jumping jack. You have your rocking horse. We're going down and back. I'll show you from the side. It's really important to have a good spot on the line from the dunes. And of course, have your jogging with knees up or bum kicks. And what I really like, I always call it the crunch. So you have hand to toe. And then from the back. And then together. So if I'm in the water, I can do both legs at the same time. And same thing for the back. And you can also do some monkey parts. So you have your jab, you have your up, you have your upper up, you've got your different kicks. So I can do a push, and I can do a roundhouse, I can kick forward, I can kick back. And then there's so many combinations that you can do with those alone. Another good one if you're in a little bit deeper water is you can sit on your noodle, or if you have a little weighted belt, you can do a spin class. I know there's um, some bikes that go directly into water, so those are kind of cool. So that's not all of that, but at least it's a decent start. And why don't I show you some of my favorite equipment? Well, I'll start with the shoes. I love some shoes that have holes in them. So I don't know if you can tell, they're a little worn down because I've had them a long time, but They've got holes so the water can move in and out, but I have a little more support and it's much more comfortable because the bottom of the pool is cement. These are not my favorite, but the marshmallow sticks or the floppy dumbbells, for me, I find it's a lot of pressure on the shoulder when I'm in the water. It's nice to have a little extra buoyancy when you're in deep water, but you can do lots of different variations of these. And I didn't show you some of the different arms. So, once you've got your jumping jacks, you've got those cross country arms, you have the breast stroke type arms, and then you have your bear hug type arms. So any legs can go with pretty much any upper body activity. And then you've got your rotator cuff. So they work. You've got the pool noodle, great to sit on, like I said, for the bike, or I don't know if you can see me quite as well, but if you lay it flat on the ground, you can walk on it. And you can't see me very well. But if I buy a little this way, I can go side to side. Very good for balance. Classic kick forward. You can do some pushes, some pulls. When you do have a group of people, it is fun to have some folks doing the push and pull, and then someone else has to walk past. And there's extra resistance there, and it makes it a little bit hard. Now, these are two of my favorites. All right, so I've got little ankle weights, or kind of the water equivalent. So these go around your ankles to give you some resistance. And I like it because then, no matter what direction you're going, you get a little extra boost and a little more hard work. And I love these guys. I, I always call them the helmet heads. That's what it looks like to me. But your hand goes in there and then you don't have the buoyancy of the marshmallow sticks on the shoulders, but you have good resistance every direction that you go. So I do like that. And I like being able to have extra resistance every direction I go. So these are my go-to, I love them. And uh, most days if I'm doing some water aerobics, 
I always like to do the helmet heads with the little ink resistance things. And if you don't have that equipment, no worries. You don't need all of that. You have your body and you have the resistance of the water and that is good enough. And to make things easier or harder with your hands, you now I showed you all those different arm variations. Think easy is straight arms to the water. A little harder is a fist. And then harder is a flat hand against the water. So if I'm going against the water, I can go harder, a little bit easier, and then easier once again. So there we go. Just a few tips and some of my favorite things. Not sure, most favorite things, but there's many options and a lot of other equipment that you can bring into the pool. And if you're having fun and enjoying it, that is the best part. Top tip, when you're in the pool, the optimal height of the water will be about nipple height. So you want the water to go way up your chest and that will give you the best support and uh, the best resistance while you're in the water. So we can get the arms going and the legs. So I love to use the wall of the pool. And I don't know if you can tell, but my toes, my legs are long. I got my feet just up on the edge. And I'm sitting in the middle and you can lean to one side. You can lean to the other side. I hope you don't use this finger while you're actually working out because I'm going too fast. But you can put your feet down, you can have them together. Toes are just below here. And because I'm not as diligent as you. I want to encourage you to be diligent. And then you could do, it's similar to what's on leg, but a straight leg out, but almost like a runner's lunge. That's a good way to get your back leg as well. And if you have knees together and you bring one leg up, and the other side, we want to do our arms, we can use them too. I can do over the cross, and I want to push this arm towards this one. That's how you get the best right. And then straight up, down the bed. I'm pushing this way, and then I'm pushing this arm this way. And I'm going to leave this arm here, and I'm going to cut this down behind me, and I'm going to look into this arm first, and I'm going to stretch my neck. And this other one, I'll bring it across. Up. Put this arm behind and look into this armpit. And I'm going to put one arm up, and this arm I'm going to reach all the way to the back bottom and use this weight to drag and lean. Straight up, sweep in. And on to the front. back. Something that I love about being in water is we can do a lot of side-to-side -side motions and in our day-to-day -day life most people we're always going back and forth walking or running going upstairs but in the pool I can go side to side and work some different ways. That's a favorite thing. Well thank you for joining me today our health care team. I hope that you had a great time for some trips and got some inspiration to maybe come into the pool or your backyard pool.
or at least try something new. Bye-bye! And spice it up with traditional swimming.